And welcome to tonight's version of Winner in the Mailman. Tonight we have Chance Simons, Scott's Bluff Standout, uh, football, wrestling, whatever else. Golf. Um, golf. He's, he looks like he got some more wounds from wrestling practice going on. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but we invited Chance in here tonight to talk a little bit about his football future, Northwest Missouri State. And we'll jump right into that. You know what? Uh, you know how how. how how were you recruited to go to Northwest Missouri State? So basically, I mean, they just got got a hold of me, I think, at the end of my junior year, and we've just kind of built a relationship from there and just kind of went up for a visit and decided that's where I wanted to go. So, and We talked a little bit before uh, the podcast here tonight. With Northwest Missouri State is kind of, a, kind of a pipeline for this area, and we've had some really good athletes head out there. Guys like Josh Swanson, uh, one of the Clarksons, I think, was out there. Mm -hmm. And now Chance Simons is going to be out there. And, you you know, you've got a chance. You could do, you could probably wrestle out there, too, if you wanted to. I mean. Yeah, <laughs> wrestling was kind of just a, kind of decided to throw it out there and try it. But I don't, I don't think I could have a future in that. But, hey, you never know. You covered the Scott Club Bearcats quite a bit this year in the last couple of years. And. I've gotten to know Chance just on the sidelines, just from what I've watched and the intensity and, you know, everything else. Um, he was one of the guys that really stood out to me on this team this year, especially on defense. I know Dave Teeley would come down and he'd be like, Dave, you know, what do you think? You know, what do you think offensive? What do you think of defensive? And I'd always bring up Chance. It's like, man, I'll tell you what, Simons is all over the field here tonight. And I, I guess that's just kind of the the – that's just kind of the culture of Scottsboro football. You know, Coach Benson passed along to Coach Hall, and you guys, you know, we've always had a very intense defense like that, and you guys practice hard, play hard, and uh, obviously Scottsboro is very well known in Class B around here. And You know, how important was it for you to come up through that program, the Scottsboro program? I mean, I definitely think it helped a lot just having, especially with recruiting, just having a school that, their name's pretty known, especially for being on the west side of Nebraska. I mean, mm -hmm. you don't get a ton of recruiting as a lot of other schools, maybe in Omaha or even in Colorado, will get. So I definitely think it was the best option. That's why I chose to go here is because I felt like that would be the best school to get me where I wanted to go. So how are you feeling just staying as a Bearcat through the rest of your football career, especially in college? I mean, you're just changing colors, but... <laughs> yep, yep, it'll be nice. I mean, I'll definitely get to, I mean, basically only got to get rid of the red. I get to keep all my white and black clothes, so that's nice, but... <laughs> yeah, I dig yeah. the green, though, man. Yeah, I, do. I, like I really do. I, I, I like it. I, yeah, I'm, I hunt, so I, I wear mm -hmm. a lot of green anyway. <laughs> yeah. So, but, no, I, I really dig the green. That's a great school out there. Um, well, I'm sure you saw the uh, Star Herald All-Region team, right? Mm -hmm. So how yep. do you feel being first team defense? I mean, it's definitely an honor. I mean, it's kind of been my goal since I was a freshman to, you know, be the best and try and get there. And it, it was it was nice to see it finally happen. He was definitely a shoe in I mean, I, I don't know if I saw a sheet that didn't have his name on it. I don't think I did either. Obviously, the coaches saw a lot out of you this year. And I, like I, and I, and I know I did, too. And I, were you kind of dealing with a little bit of a knee deal during football this year? Yeah, it was, it was off and on. I mean, it was, it just, was just kind of nagging. Kinda, on, yeah, I just chose to kind of suck it up and keep playing. Well, and that's, you know, Mr. Buck and I talked about that a little bit. I say, man, I'll tell you what, either that kid's playing through pain or, you know, I don't know what the deal is. Because I know you'd look over there every once in a while and like, you'd stretch it or do whatever. Mm -hmm. And I'd be like... This kid's got something nagging on him, but yeah, how, actually, how's that doing now? It's doing good. Well, actually, what happened is I partially separated my shoulder, and then I tore my calf muscle. So Ouch. I played, I think, since after I think before the after the gearing game, the rest of the, the rest of the year I played with a just a torn calf, but my shoulder was already healed, so or most of the way healed anyway. But yeah, that. It didn't feel too great, but <laughs> that hurts just thinking yeah. about. It. And my age, man, <laughs> the torn calf. Yeah, I'm in a wheelchair. I'm done. <laughs> you know, it's it's over. So, but obviously played right through it. Um, Brianna, you got. It looks like you got quite the list going uh, on over there. Not a lot. But I mean, <laughs> what about the Shrine Bowl? 
I mean, obviously, I don't know much about the Shrine Bowl, if you want to enlighten me a little bit. <laughs> Shrine Bowl's a big deal. <laughs> yep. You, you did play in the Shrine Bowl. You're going I'm, I'm going, going to. to. He's going to. I believe it's that's in why I was... April? I think, I think it's early June. April. That's Maybe June. something like that. Now, the East, West, the East West All Stars basically is, I, mean, I guess you go as far east as not very far. I think you it goes know. to North Platte. Yeah. So, the Shrine Bowl, you're going to get a little more uh, bigger school, bigger school talent. Um, it's obviously very highly looked at by, by college coaches and recruiters and stuff like that. It's, it's really a big deal. I mean, it's, I haven't, when I was growing up, you saw very few guys go to the Shrine Bowl. And when you did, when they went to play in it, they were, it was a big deal. And, I mean, obviously, that's got to be an honor for you as well. Yeah, yeah, it definitely is. I mean, I think me and Trevor Schwartz, we both made it. So that was, I mean, a big thing for our school, again, just to, to have two guys getting to have that honor and kind of go up there. But, yeah, I'm definitely excited. It's a, I, I mean, I agree. I think it's a pretty big deal, too. Well, I mean, how, how important is it to you that, I mean, you, you look around at, at I, I don't want to say media, but, you know, you got you got the running backs and the quarterbacks and these guys getting all this praise and you're silently over there on defense just crushing people. And, you know, how big of a deal was it for, you know, that to be seen by so many people? I mean, I mean Garrett Nelson was... He, he was kind of a different breed mm -hmm. when it came to looking at somebody on defense. But, you know, the write-ups in the newspapers every week about, you know, how many yards the running backs had or the quarterbacks had. And, you know, and, and as much as I would like to put tackles and TFLs and stuff in there, I can't keep up with it. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and I know that Judd doesn't, Judd and that coaching staff doesn't do anything until they watch the, watch the tape. And by mm -hmm. that time, it's too late for me. So... I mean, I like to put a little plug in there for you, but how important is it to be noticed as a defensive player like that, not you know, not a big time running back or quarterback or anything like that? I mean, for me personally, it's always nice, but that's I'm not really playing for the clout or necessarily the media. I mean, I'm playing because I love the game, and you know, media helps you know with recruiting yeah. and everything like that. So that's definitely a great aspect of it. But I mean, really, when it comes down to it people are mostly watching the quarterbacks and running backs and, you know, the big flashy stuff. I mean, Braden and Sebastian just did an outstanding job this year, and, I mean, next year they're going to do even better. So, I mean, I see why it's like that, but it's it's definitely, I mean, it's always nice to be talked about or, you know, have media on you. Well, you look at, you look at some of the recruitment in the past couple of years, it has been defensive players. I mean, you know, we haven't seen – you know, a lot of running backs or quarterbacks going to the next level mm -hmm. from around here, but you do see a lot of defensive guys. So I guess that's one thing you can look at. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. uh, so I just wanted to move to wrestling now. So obviously Friday, you're going to Shadron, and you're going to – I don't know who you're facing because there's a bunch of teams that are there. So how are you feeling at going up there after – do the triangular at your house. <laughs> yeah, it definitely, I'm definitely excited. I mean, our coaches, we have, I think, some of the best coaches in the state, if not the best coaches in the state. I mean, Stadola and Colton, they just, I mean, Colton basically freak. train our butts <laughs> off every week and put us in the best position that we can be or we can be in. So, I mean, I think, I think we'll do really good. Yeah, Colton, Colton's, I followed that kid's entire career, and that kid was an animal. Yeah. I mean, he's he's a good guy to have in your corner. And and what weight you wrestling this year? Uh, I'm heavyweight, so he's, 285. So he's wrestling 285. And how much you giving up? Um, I'm about 240, so about <laughs> 45 pounds. You guys always give up quite a bit, but your strength and your and your stamina and stuff like that really helps with with those big guys like that. And you know, wrestling stuff. How important is wrestling to football? I'd say. Personally, I think the biggest thing that helps with football from wrestling is just your mindset. I mean, it just teaches you to be a mean, tough son of a lot gun. Of, you yeah, know. a lot of self-discipline. Right? Yeah. I mean, it takes, it takes quite mm -hmm. a bit. I mean, just the difficulty of the practices, the just running and the conditioning and getting in shape and flexibility and, you, you know, quickness kid, and everything. Don't do yeah, don't, don't do it. You're giving me flashbacks, kid. Those, <laughs> those days were... Those days were hard on me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I mean, only question I've got is of the sports that you play, which one's your favorite? I'm going to assume football. Yeah, but. definitely football. <laughs> I mean, I enjoy everything I do or I wouldn't do it. You know, I mean, rodeo, I mean, golf, wrestling, football, it's all, I all enjoy it. And I mean, I'm pretty good at most of them if you put a little effort into it. But yeah, definitely football is my favorite. As far as, let's, let's go back to the, the college program that you're going to in Southwest Missouri State. Do you know Northern. anybody else? Northern. In, or Northern. You guys, <laughs> you'll, 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 we'll get this figured out. Do you know anybody in the program up there? Or? I do. There's Sam Clarkson. Sam? And he's the, he's the main one I know. But, I mean, going up there a couple times, just hanging out with all the guys. I mean, I mostly... I know probably a third of the team. You well, know. that's important. You get, you know, you 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 make friends with these mm -hmm. guys. You know, you start social media with them and stuff like that. And you know, by the time you get there, you already feel comfortable mm -hmm. with these guys. And you know, how 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 important was 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 Sam involved with the recruiting with you? I mean, it's definitely a perk. I mean, knowing someone that I mean, I worked out with him here. Mm -hmm. We, me, him, Garrett, we, Keegan, we all worked out together. So, I mean, it's definitely nice to have somebody that I'm pretty familiar with yeah, push down there. You know, yeah, there, man. Yep. <laughs> yep. Tell you what. So, but, yeah, that's that's tough group, man. I'll tell you what. It, uh, and, you know, you couldn't be – you know, these guys come before you like that. I mean, they had to be a huge influence for you. I mean, just, just in the last couple of years. I mean, when you were a freshman and sophomore, I mean, you were going against these guys in practice and stuff. And – you know, that had to be huge for you, too. Yeah, I mean, it definitely, the better competition you go up against, the better it's going to make you. So, I mean, it definitely, I remember getting up, going to work out at 5 o'clock in the morning with all those guys, and it just, it really just made me tougher. Just, you know, Garrett, Keegan, they're all names that you know in yeah. the Scotts Bluff program, and that's just kind of who I wanted to surround myself with. But what are your, uh, what are your, short-term and long-term goals as far as college goes? I mean, you, you know what you're going to be majoring in, or...? Yeah, I'm not exactly sure yet, but I'll, I'll major in something in business, so either business education or business management or something like that, and then just get on the field as early as possible and just contribute to the team. Absolutely, man, absolutely. Well, Brandon, do you have anything else left for I don't Mr. Do Simons you. here? No, I have... I sure appreciate, we sure appreciate having you on here with our, with our podcast. It's, it's kind of an important deal for us. And, you know, when we heard the, when we heard the commitment and stuff, we jumped all over it. We were, you know, we were going to come after you. And I've, I've always wanted to sit and talk with you because I've been on the sidelines around you and how, how intense you are and stuff like that. I was like, man, this kid, this kid would be a riot. So, you know, it was good to, good to finally sit down with you. I know I've, I know I've met you in the past, but it's good to formally meet you now and, and talk to you a little bit. And Brianna, do you have anything else left left for tonight? Do you have anything left for us? I don't think so. Thanks for having me on. Absolutely. Thanks for coming on. Yeah, yeah thanks for coming on. We appreciate it. It's a cold night here in, in western Nebraska, but uh, we'll get through it. Yeah. Well, uh, thanks, everyone, for joining us. Uh, for more sports coverage, uh, pick up a print edition or go to StarHerald.com, and we will see you all next week. Go Cats, both ways. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, dude.